Yes. Observe very carefully. Whenever suddenly velocity becomes zeros, suddenly understanding. Suddenly velocity velocity becomes zero. So it will exert what? Huge amount of momentum. Do you understand it? So huge amount of momentum means force is very high or not? Extremely high force. Understanding? That is what I am saying. So now, sir, how, sir? Let us see. As I said, velocity becomes zero. Momentum become what? Velocity is zero. Momentum become what? Momentum is zero. But when you are bringing the velocity fastly into reduces to zero so that extremely high momentum will create. Let us prove that now how the karate person is breaking the tails. Now, let us imagine both Mithaksri and Vartani is driving in a car. Now their speed is 120 kilometer per hour. What is the speed, guys? Everyone try to answer. What is the speed? 120 kilometer per hour. Now, they want to stop the car. Now you tell me, they came within a second Within a, uh, let me take now, within a four second, they made the car speed into zero kilometer per hour. Now, is it they will be landing properly or they will be met with and fall down accident or the skidding? It will be rotating the car. Anybody? What will happen, Akilan? It will, will be skipping. Yes, sir. Now, they will be fall down and the car will be rotating on the road. Yes, sir. Now, guys? Yes, sir. It will be also. Why? Sudden break they will apply. What will happen? Velocity becomes zero. Velocity fa fastly will become zero so that huge amount of force is exerted on the car so that car may take even reverse manner. Yes or no, guys? Means volta it will become upside down. Yes or no? Now, now same 120 kilometer, 120 kilometer per hour, they reduce to 100, 100 to 80, 80 to 60, 60 to 40, 40 to 20, 20 to zero. Like that, they have been reduced. Now, they will be safely stopping the car or it will be again met with an accident. Anybody? Safely. Safely. Because why? Velocity reducing slowly. Understanding. So it is taking slowly. They are reducing the velocity so that momentum also what is happening? Momentum also slowly, slowly decreasing. decreasing. Okay. Finally, they will come to rest. It will become zero. Now, here what is happening? Suddenly the velocity becomes zero so that huge amount of momentum will be produced and finally it will become into zero. So that momentum is only causes what? Extremely high force is produced. That is what you can notice it. For example, you, you are traveling with the 120 kilometer per hour and you are traveling 40 kilometer per hour. Now you tell me both the cases, for example, you met with an accident. In which case you people will hurt be hurted more? Anybody? 120 kilometer more. Why? For example, in both the cases, yeah. hit by a lorry. Now you tell me in which case is more possibility to get more injuries. 120 km. Why 120? Anybody? Because it has high velocity. 120 suddenly become what? When we hit the lorry, suddenly become what? Suddenly will become zero. zero. And is extremely velocity changes extremely high. Yes or no? Suddenly from 120 to zero, velocity drastical change so that huge amount of momentum will produce so that injuries is more. But same 40 becomes zero. Of course, velocity is very low, so that it will uh, the momentum exerted is very less, uh, so that it may be airbags and all will save us. Yes or no, guys? Airbags also may be save us. Yes or no? That is what you have to remember. So, how the karate person is breaking the files of tiles? Very fastly, within a seconds of time, the maximum velocity become what? Velocity turns into what, guys? Velocity turns zero. into zero so that it will produce us extremely high momentum and it will release us more amount of forces transferred from his hand to files of tiles so that single shot the files of tiles will break. Is it okay, guys? Everyone have you understand? So that is what you have to remember it. That is what what we used to call as momentum and how this momentum is exerted. So from that, we can make the conclusions. What is, what is the conclusions we can make, guys? Momentum is directly proportional to two things. What is that, guys? 
One is what? Mass and velocity. Mass and velocity. So mass of a body is increasing. So momentum is also increases. If mass of a body is decreasing, momentum is decreases. If velocity of the body is increases also, momentum increases. Velocity of the body decreases, momentum is decreases. For example, now let me take some mass. Now let me take Reddy is traveling in a scooty. Okay. I don't I don't consider anything bad. Let me take some unknown person. Okay, guys, everybody. Some unknown person is traveling in a, a scooty. Now he will hit by the car. He will hit by the what, guys? He will hit by the what? He will oh. hit by the car. Now same unknown person is hit by the lorry. Now you tell me in which case the injuries is more? More lorry. Why lorry? Mass. Because mass. it has high mass. Because that is what mass. So if you are hitting the more heavy vehicle or heavy mass, so momentum produced also what? More momentum it will exert. So it will cause us more loss. Do you understand everyone? Yes, please. So this is what the yes. concept of concept of mass and momentum and as well as velocity. So which is having a relationship between mass momentum and as well as what velocity so we can say what is the relation between momentum and mass so momentum mass and as well as momentum and velocity mass momentum is directly proportional to mass and as well as momentum is directly proportional to what guys velocity velocity that is the formula so what is the formula for momentum Mass into velocity. Mass into velocity. And what is the units? Kilogram meter per second. Kilogram meter per second is the yes unit. What is the CGS unit? Gram centimeter per second. Gram centimeter per second. That is what it is. Okay. So if you'll understand this, then let it be, you can continue. So from here, then if you understand the momentum, then as we know, change in momentum only, we can get it. The Newton's second law of motion. That is what we used to call it as change in momentum. We used to call it as what? Newton's second law of motion. That is what we used to call it as force. So which we will derive in the tomorrow's class. So we study in tomorrow's, that is that is what Newton's second law of motion. So till here, everybody try to solve. All of you see page number 57. Page number 57, everybody open. Till page number 57. Page number 57, you are having some exercise. 56 and 57. Okay. Yes. Now it is everything related to what? You might be understand by this time. Everything related to Newton's Not first law of motion. And as well as Newton's first law of motion and as well as what? momentum only okay then try to study till here and tomorrow's class we are going to study newton's second law of motion with the help of what momentum so whenever you are free today of course i know that today no offline school so kindly solve this exercise find the momentum finally remember what is the units of momentum arun kailash units of momentum no. simply p what is symbol of, momentum? symbol of momentum is p and units is kilogram meter per second that is the si unit and cgs unit is gram centimeter gram per second please akila i understand mitakshri any doubt yes sir that's fine okay so Thank you, everybody. Let it be with this. We'll, we'll stop and we'll continue in the tomorrow's class. Hope you all understand momentum. Any doubt? Anybody? You can ask me. No, sir. No? No, no, sir. no so sir. Please kindly try to solve the exercise also and we'll proceed from here. Thank you, all of you. Bye, everybody. Thank you, Thank sir. You. Thank you.